Hello, it's been a while since I've done one of these Lazy Sunday videos, so I thought I'd pop into the shed, grab a beer, and have a chat. I'm going to have a go with this. Um, Saison, 5.2%, bottled on the 22nd of November 2020, and this was the beer that I was at my friend's house, uh, Michael Ockroy, back, back, wow, um, before sort of the second lockdown so quite a while back now probably so that's 26 so beginning of november i think last year um went round to his house i pretty much just sat and got pissed while he did the brewing um and it was a good day i was going to put some video together with this do a, a taste video of this and put some of the footage but to be honest it's quite shaky quite poor footage has i was a little getting a bit tipsy by the end of it so anyway this is mike's my cock right mate mine lives around the corner so i'm gonna have a try this is um a, one of the kits i think from malt miller one of the last of kits he's done so oh she's open nice little bit of gun smoke there oh smells nice get a pod now i've had a beer already but it was one of my uh sour beers so i'm looking forward to something this bottle condition these by the way he's not quite yet kegging although he has just bought um one of the new one of the sort of like bulldog type brewing systems i think i'm not sure what, what it was again it's been a while since i saw him post about it need a more clarity but it's like here supposed to be there i imagine because it's a saison not had a saison in a while. Um, oh, you can smell. It's got that saison y smell. You know the one, sort of like barnyard, straw. Smell, I do miss having a saison. I'm gonna have to brew one, I think. I think I've got some saison yeast still myself. So, let's get in there and have a taste. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's got um, quite a taste to it, that. That's very nice. Very much the barnyard taste. Straw. Sort of, uh, it's got a, a, like a, an after bitterness almost at the back of my throat. So it's a little bit of bitterness there, but not notice. It's not on the, it's quite sweet initial. Or oh, it feels sweet compared to having just had a a glass of sour so I had a glass about that big full of sour beer which is getting quite sour and um, to go to this so this feels really sweet although well, it probably isn't so maybe having the that first wasn't the best plan but yeah it's a lovely looking beer there's no I mean, like, <laughs> there's no off aroma it's, good, it's meant to smell like this it's got that peppery taste to it as well that I, you'd expect um, Finishing quite dry, the dry bitterness. So it's spot on. It's everything I, I, I'd expect from a saison. Very nice. So, let's have a chat. It's bloody freezing in here. Yeah, Cardi's back on again to come out. To, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to faff with my uh, little heater here. So, if you hear that noise now, it's the fan, my fan heater, and I'm just warming my hands up because it's quite cold, the beer. It, it hasn't been in. Uh, it hasn't been in a bottle fridge or anything it's just sat in here um my keys is not even on i don't even bother putting it on um I, last i looked it was at four degrees three three four degrees and i'm just like yeah turn it off there's no even point bothering with it in here it's usually down to about four i think three or four degrees in the evening i mean the frost's still on my car it has been all day so it's, it's pretty cold out there at the moment i know a few of you have had snow um, it's been a couple of weeks since we had snow. Um, it's still hanging around up on the tops. Oh, oh man. And the day it snowed here, I was supposed to have been going to work. Tried to get there. Um, I was on the. It's going about nine o'clock. Just dropped the youngest off at school. Tried to. It was chucking it down here, absolutely lashing it down. But as you left this town, come through the next village, and the east, the road starts to rise sharply. So a couple of thousand feet, I think. No, a couple of thousand feet we're talking about. It's about oh, maybe 800 feet or something like that um, on the motor uh, top of Gothland's pretty much the highest point 
for the snow really, um, it, it drops down a bit but then it climbs again up to the whole of Hawkeye. And... Anyway the point is, as I started to climb up this bank, uh, called Blue Bank, the, um, the rain turned to sleet, which turned to snow and then I saw the plough going past me the other way and yet the road behind him was still white, it just white within seconds. So, tried to drive up and there was a couple of cars stuck on the side of the road. I, I had to stop to go, let other cars go past as I try and go around them, which is very difficult in my car. Um, it's a nice sun car, but it's not a snow car. Um, we were like rah, 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 across the road, <laughs> back and sliding around, left to right, left to right, wheel, wheel the other way, wheel the other way, in third, nice, slow, crawling. Started to get some speed, and I thought, I've got two more hills of this before I come to the hairpin bend on a road that's like that with a hairpin bend in the middle not a chance so I had to turn back and come home um, yeah so that was that story really that was as much as the snow as I saw I mean then it was like hey we could go out and go take the kids sledging and then thought no because we're in the middle of a pandemic and we're supposed to stay local and to go out would be me going nearly 10 miles to go up to the snow to go sledging and anything no. Then I did notice there's quite a few idiots did it anyway, so you just think, Jesus. Have a think. Yes, it seems like a good idea, but think about it a second and then. No, it's not such a bright idea, is it? Anyway, so that was that. Um, brewing wise, I haven't done a thing. I've not brewed. I've not even looked. I've, apart from cleaning, stripping everything down, I stripped everything down the keys, the kegs, and everything. Um, cleaned them all out and did the maintenance and my issue I think that I had with the gas is pretty much solved now um, I don't really have a problem now the everything has been turned off um, gas wise but what was in the regulators is still showing the gas that was in the regulator so it's not leaking anywhere now which is good it's good um, everything is just sat in well, these are sat, uh, my kegs are down here. I've still got two kegs empty there. I've got um, sanitizer in it. Fermenter here, sanitizer in it. It is just, everything is just sat on hold. I haven't really felt the wish to brew, really. I've got the need to brew, so I'm getting low on beer, and I should brew. And I'll no doubt panic and run out of beer and start panicking and then brew twice a day for like three weeks or something stupid um, twice a day twice a week for three weeks or so get loads of beer on and uh, and then be inundated with it as you do um, I'm still looking at trying to do that Belgian um, <clears throat> what was it I was going to do the, the double I'm going to do a Belgian double with raisins and sultanas and brandy um, that's still to do, I still have that to go. So it's very nice this. Thank you, Mike. That's still to go. Now what percentage did I say it was again? 5.2. 5.2%. Um, I'll add the last of it now. Try not to get anything in it. Nope. All very good. All, all the sediment is still solid at the bottom. It's because it's just been sat here. It hasn't moved for weeks and still looks very good, doesn't it? It is well carbonated as well, and that head staying around. So I've not really wanted to do anything. I need to get brewing though, because the sour is quite sour. Although I can do like maybe two bites before I start to think I'm going to get indigestion. Um, because of the, the pH of it. But I've been drinking wine really, of late. Yeah, I've been getting into a little bit of an Italian thing, been watching uh, or well, like uh, two two greedy Italians there, um, Gianluca is it uh, Antonio or Antonio Carlucci I think it is and Gennaro Contaldo, the, those two uh, getting been enjoying watching them and um, doing some cooking, some Italian cooking, lots of pasta, because it's that it's that time of year where you start saying I need to be a bit healthy again, don't you? So a lot of pasta, um, I'm just doing now, 
I was going to do a pulled pork, pulled pork with mac and cheese with a pork shoulder today for like instead of a Sunday dinner for a change. But um, I thought, no, I need to be a bit healthier. So I don't like a Italian pot roast kind of thing. Lots of tomato and it's, uh, onion and peppers and chili and uh, put it all in the pot. And sort of put it in the oven all day. So it's starting to it's all starting to break up now, like pulled pork. But it's all in this tomatoey sauce and it's just yeah, I'm gonna chuck a lot of pasta in there and it'll be, it'll be lovely. I wish I got some gnocchi really. I should have got some gnocchi and done put that in. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so that's the, where I'm at food and drinking really is the old healthy, a bit more healthy in Italian style. Lots of lemon and tomato and basil and chilies and peppers and yeah, it's a, that sort of thing. And pasta, all the pasta. So I've been drinking a lot of red wine but to go with it, as you do. So I did find um, is it Aldi. Yeah, Aldi. I, I've always been a big fan of the Californian Zinfandel since I watched, what was it, James Maynard's Clark when they were in America on their wine tour when I was trying to teach James how to understand wine and such. And we say Californian Zinfandel is one of the best perfect grapes for the perfect location. It just works perfectly and creates such beautiful wines. And I do like red Zinfandel and I've found them hard to get hold of. Um, Locally, they used to do one in. They used to do two in local Sainsbury's. They, they disappeared, um, but then I found it the other day in Aldi. Red Zinfandel. So I've been drinking that a bit. It's only five as well. Five a bottle for a red Zinfandel. So I, that's been nice. Uh, yeah. So I'm not really even touching the beer. As I say, the, the sour I've got's been kind of put me off. I have a couple, and then I. Ready. Um, so I do need to get some beers made. Uh, I've got, I've still got enough for maybe two brews left, um, with grain and such to do two brews. But it's, it's coming out here to organise it. You know, you, you got your shed, you come out, and it's bloody freezing. It literally, it's a couple of degrees. I've got this heater on at the minute, just full whack. But for me to do, get all the grains out and sort it. And, put it together and to take into the house for the brewing on the next day or that day sort of thing. Um, shed doors up so I can't really have the heat on so it's just freezing and just, you just don't fancy it, you know what I mean? You just don't fancy doing it. So I don't. I haven't. <laughs> just the way it's gone. Um, I have the virgin yeast to still use. Um, I wonder what to do with that to be honest. Um, I've got a load of like Sabro and Idaho 7 and Galaxy and Citra left. So I should use some of that up, get some real fruity fruity esters going there. But not so much with the Sabro, obviously. Um, oh yeah, I got some like mango, is it mango shower gel? And my God, every morning of that, I'm like, oh my God, that could you just mango, mango. And I really want to make the mango last the IPA again. It really want, I really want to do that again. Because I, every, every morning when I shower, I'm like, oh, I really want that mango last the IPA. This smells just like it. <laughs> so I, I, I'm practically wanting to eat the shower gel. It's the, the, that mango is just so ripe and fruity and nice. And it just reminds me of the mango last the IPA. So I really want to do that again this year. I haven't done it in a long time. Um, will I revamp the recipe at all? Very little, I would have thought. Um, I, it was spot on for me. Um, yeah, maybe drop the bitterness slightly. But then again, that bitterness did help remind you that you're drinking a beer. A lot of people said, oh yeah, there is a little bitterness there, but that reminds you you're drinking beer and not fruit juice. I don't know everyone at the minute likes to just fruit juice beer. Uh, but yeah, so I, I plan to do that again this year, I think. Um, you might see above there a picture. Yeah, a canal. 68 games, unbeaten at home, and lose to Burnley. Bollocks. That didn't go well, did it? Can't get looking score. Can they? Just can't score. So, those who know me, yeah, on my Facebook will know that. 
yeah, so I was getting upset a little on that game, especially with Firmino. I don't know what fucking barn door looks like, never mind hitting it. So, things otherwise, things are going pretty steadily, I suppose to say. I haven't started running again yet. Um, do you know, I, I was just thinking about it. And the last run I did was post COVID. And I got that in March, so probably April. I did the last couple of runs I did was in April last year. Did a lot of big walks. Um, mainly to take the car to the garage and walk back. Because that's, that's six, seven miles away, the garage that I use. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I did a walk today. Oh, yeah. Getting back into the walking did about I think it was at six seven k six point summit k uh, in an hour with a stop um, when I met the father in law and mother in law and I was chat with them uh, on the cliff top. Um, you see, socially distanced. Um, had a chat with them for a bit and then plodded on. So that, uh, probably five minutes I suppose talking to them. And I bumped into somebody else I knew. Um, but that was uh, just a couple of minutes say hello how are you that kind of thing um, so yeah an hour to do 6-7k walking is okay I thought um, maybe about an hour and 10 minutes I think it was something like that I have to look on Strava I did, it. I did all the yeah, pressing the buttons on the Strava actually I might have a look it's on my phone so I can tell you I know you're not really that interested, and you don't really want to know, but we'll have a look anyway. I'm going to bore you with it if you've got this far, he says, and the phone's not doing it. So it's running a bit slow, this phone, at the minute. I'm not sure why. I've clicked on it, it's just not... Ah, no. Come on. Ah, there we go, it's just opening up. I can't see it's not doing it. Right, so we need to go to history, which is... Ah, ah, previous. History. 6.3 kilometres. An hour and 14 minutes. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? Oh, you can see that? Focus on that. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. I thought I was alright. Considering I was really struggling to do 5k running in um, half an hour. So, 6 k I was alright. Yeah. So, I'll get back in. Try and get back into a bit of fitness. Try and get... Because I'm not playing badminton anymore. I used to play badminton a lot. I used to play every week. Badminton on a Monday. Um, for two hours. That's that's hard going. Two hours. I mean, normally we play doubles. Um, but it was getting... Um, to a point where we'd, people not turning. We were having two courts. We were playing singles. And singles! Badminton. I mean, it doesn't... Is it, oh, yeah, you're just whacking out. Yeah, you played that in your garden. Play it on a freaking court properly with people that know what they're doing, and it is they get knocked all over. It is hard graft. Um, it's, I don't think it's as hard on your knees and your ankles as five aside used to be for me, but it's pretty, pretty. Yeah, you're moving around left, right, then right there. Uh, it does work your body a bit and your shoulders. I'm certainly trying to smash down. Um, yeah, my shoulder's not so great anyway. My knees, one of my knees is feeling a bit shonky at times. So, yeah, 18, sorry, I'm waffling for 18 minutes. I haven't really talked about beer at all, have I? I haven't really said a great deal. Um, other than Sir Mike's Saison, is very good. If you ever get the opportunity of uh, having a beer from mine, take the advantage of it, because they're really nice beers. I'm not sure how his new kit is. Um, I know he's brewed on it um, recently. I can't really brewed. He did send me, send me a message about it. Might have been, was it Two Hearty Clone? Or was he already done that years ago? Years ago. I can't remember, but it, his latest one he did, he did on the new brew system. He's really excited about it, so. If he gets the opportunity to pass it to anyone, you never know. You might get lucky and get one of his beers because they're very nice. Right, yes. I've come up to night, nearly 20 minutes, um, so I'll leave it there. So if you've got this far, thanks for watching, um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.